If you're looking for an under 4,000 pound family bunkhouse, but you don't want to sacrifice on quality, this 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 19 BHLE may just be the perfect coach for you and your family. Let's go take a look. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the all new 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 19 BHLE. This particular trailer comes in at 23 feet, seven inches in overall length, and is gonna be about 3,750 pounds unloaded. We're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and talk about all of the great features, such as the standard 80 watt solar panel that comes on these, the Asdale construction, the 60 by 80 true queen bed that is hard to find in a smaller camper like this, the fact that it comes with an outside kitchen, has a forced air heated underbelly, and tons of other great features. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump onto the inside, start with the living area. One thing that has always impressed me on these surveyor units by Forest River is how well they listen to their consumers that are buying their product. So right here, and I'll get I'll come back to that here shortly, but you'll notice you have a nice four person booth dinette. You can actually sit four uh, people around this, which in a narrow body trailer like this, it's very hard to find, even if you get a slide out. But what I meant by that they listen to their consumers is if you've seen my other video on this on the 2021, you'll notice there's a huge change here in this slide out. And they have no carpet in this whole trailer anymore, including in the slide out, which is just amazing. A lot of people really, really like this. Something else that I do also really like is how you have windows on all three sides of this slide out. Now this big one here does not open, I wish it did, but it's not a deal breaker because every other window with the exception of the front wind shield does open, which is nice. But it gives you so much light into this camper, even with the lights off. Um, and I really do like that. Now, of course, this dinette will drop down and make a bed if you need to sleep a couple extra guests. Um, one adult, two kids, easy. So this particular trailer can sleep five easily, maybe six, depending on the size of folks that you have. Now, up here, you do have a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. And this is awesome in a narrow body camper. This is something you normally don't get, especially when it's an east-west bed like this. Um, now, uh, some people are not going to prefer the east-west bed because you do have to climb over the other person if you're on the inside. And I wanna go ahead and acknowledge that. This may be a deal breaker for some people, but there's also other options out there if, that we carry. Um, if you're not super keen on the way this bed arrangement is. The other benefit with a 60 by 80 queen is you can actually find sheets for it. You can upgrade the mattress if you want to. You're not stuck with a terrible mattress. And if you've been camping before, you know what I'm talking about. If, if nobody sleeps good because of the mattresses, you know, nobody's happy for the rest of the camping trip. It kind of just ruins it. Um, now, over here, you are going to have household and USB outlets right here for your headboard, so to speak. You've got two cup holders back there. And if we kind of peel this uh, sheet back, you can see that you do have a little bit of storage in there. Um, so perfect for whatever you need to put there. Um, again, it's really nice that they have the headboard. If this was a seven foot wide trailer, like a lot of stuff in this class is, you couldn't have that headboard and a 60 by 80 queen. So this is a seven and a half foot wide trailer. So you get the extra room there. Now you can see around the bed, you have all kinds of window coverage. You've got the wind shield up there and then cross breeze windows at the head of the bed and the foot of the bed. So give you some nice airflow. We did do the optional 28 inch TV. Now this is on a swing arm mount. So it is a very good, uh, placement for the bed you may have to turn a little bit to see it from the dinette 
but in a small camper like this, I think this is the best place they could have possibly put this. Now, I do wish they would put in a window in the entry door, and this is lacking a little bit in campsite windows, but at least you do have the big window here as well as the one in the bedroom. Now, over here, you're going to have your solar charge controller for the 80 watt Go Power solar panel that is standard here. You can add another one of those without having to upgrade the controller. Any more than that, you have to go to a 30 amp charge controller because this is a, I believe, a, yeah, it's 10 amp. And then up here, you're going to have your on and your slide out and your lighting controls. And then this is for the, uh, the Wi Fi Ranger. Uh, LTE signal data access point um, that it is prepped for. All surveyors do come with a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner and you'll notice they do go with even though it is not ducted I'm not mad about that in a small trailer like this but they don't use the ceiling controls. This is still a thermostatically controlled air conditioner which is very nice. It costs a little bit more to do that. You can also see above the dinette, they're using an amber accent light, which is a nice change from, you know, because a lot of brands are using the disco blue colored lights, which are great. Some people love them. Some people hate them. But this is just a nice change. Plus, it really ties in with the wood color, I think. Now, we'll come back to the bunks here in just a second. But I do want to mention you have no heat vents in the floor in these. You actually are going to have, in the 19 series, you are going to have, and it's actually back over here, but you have a direct vent furnace. Now, typically when you see this in most campers, that means you're not going to have an enclosed heated underbelly. Well, Surveyor, what they do is they take a direct duct off of that and pump it into the underbelly even on their most basic single axle campers like this you still get forced air heat in the underbelly which is great that's really going to help you you know use this in colder weather i really do like that they did that and not every camper does and that's one of the reasons why i like to put out all these videos because every camper is different it's special it has its own qualities that separate it from everything else in the market now you can see speaking of heating and cooling you do have your thermostat right here notice it's a digital thermostat and then you're going to have your two single over single bunks now if you're looking for a um double over double bunk arrangement surveyor does make that i don't have it yet as soon as i get a video um, i will put a link down in the description below where you can check that out as well that'll be the 19 mdble which i know is a lot but now these are 300 pound rated bunks you can see that you have usb and a light for each bunk each bunk is also going to have a window and notice they didn't do the pleated nightshades up here that the kids are just going to tear up anyway. They did the simple little curtains. And then as you can see, you've got the same thing down here. Fire escape window right there, but that will open for some airflow. And I also really do like their ladder on these. You know, that is, that is very, very solid. I think I could easily climb up and, and down that and I'm probably about 220 pounds uh, and about 6'3". So I could easily get up and down that. It's so solid. I really do like that. But as good as the living area is, you're probably wondering, well, what does all this storage look like? Let's go ahead and open that up and take a look. So starting with the storage, above the bed, you are going to have Good storage here with the cargo nets. Notice that's nice and deep. Now, I know somebody's going to say, why didn't they put doors on that? And they do in the Grand Surveyor. That is a lot bigger. It's more of a couple's trailer. Um, and it's not as lightweight as this. So, um, it's kind of one of those push-pull things. I don't think this is bad by any means. But I know somebody is going to say that. And... Again, that's why there's tons of other campers out there. 
Um, not, not that this one doesn't have great qualities, but, and you know, every RV is the best for a different reason. Now down here where that box is, you've got great storage underneath the bed for some duffel bags or suitcases or things. So I do really like that. All of your countertops in here are going to be a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop. Notice you've kind of got the simulated live edge right there on the tabletop there. Now this is their new easy access dinette storage. The only thing that I really don't like about it is you have to take the cushions off. I wish they could make the table just slightly smaller. It, it needs like a half an inch on each side um, for that to flip up with the cushion, you know, with the main cushion on it. Um, but it really makes it a lot easier to get in here, pick up some big things, you know, pots and pans, things of that, things of that sort. You're going to have that on both sides of the dinette. I really do like that. I wish they would also do doors on the ends so, you, you know, it gives you both options. I think that would be a really good idea. Um, let me know if I'm wrong in the comments or let me know if you think that's a good idea. We can always pass that on to the manufacturer. Um, or I know our surveyor rep watches these videos. Now, as we come over here into the kitchen proper, you've got great storage above. Here's your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system too, by the way. I believe I forgot to mention that. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. So it's not any, it's not stapled. And I really like that they continue that throughout the whole surveyor line. Hood range. Then you're gonna have a two burner cooktop with the glass cover. Pardon our MSRP sheet uh, right there. Nice single bowl sink with the cover there. High rise faucet there as well. Little pro tip, if you're gonna use this as a cutting board, chop on this side, that way the marks go on the bottom. Now down here, you're gonna have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. A lot of campers in this size would just make that shelf space. So I really do like that they give you a whole bunch of drawers. And then right here, you're gonna have your convection oven microwave, a little spice rack with one of those little things that you can, you know, or your kids will probably be um, popping all the time. And then right here, you're gonna have your 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt DC compressor fridge. This is the Norcold version. So there's the freezer portion. And then you've got the refrigerator portion down there as well. One of the neat things on this is it actually has a power on and off button. So you can even kill the light in here, which not all of them, you can do that. You have separate fridge and freezer controls. A night mode which will turn the compressor fan down uh, which in a small trailer like this this is very important because sometimes those de those compressors can be a little loud depending on the brand so i really do like that it uses about three amps of power when it's down to temp it cools off in about one and a half hours or so and it's fully travel safe you don't have any propane in that at all which is you know the propane refrigerators, they can cause RV fires. Um, it is, you know, there's advantages both ways, but I prefer this. Now, that being said, let's go ahead, jump back into the bathroom, take a look at it. And I tell you, for a bunkhouse, this has got a really good sized bathroom. All right, guys, so stepping into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice, you do have a mirrored medicine cabinet right here. So you can see there's the mirror. And then you'll have toothbrush holders on the back side of that, which is really cool. Thermal foil press membrane countertops. Let me get this out of the way. Nice, big, deep sink. Um, pardon the antifreeze there. This unit just came in and is winterized. GFI protected outlet, little cubby hole there. You're gonna have your tank monitoring panel with your uh, water heater controls and water pump control. Nice storage underneath the sink there. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. You're gonna have a nice 30 by 36 inch shower in here. ABS plastic shower surround. And then you'll have the slow close shower curtain right there as well. Skylight up top, so I can easily shower in here at six, two, six, three. And then over here, you're gonna have a nice hanging closet space here. And as we drop down, you've got shelf space there and another shelf 
space down below. And that is mirrored too, by the way. Last thing, or last couple things, I should say, you're going to have these nice coat hooks or robe hooks right here. And then you have a powered vent fan right there. All right, guys, so with the slide out closed in this 19 BHLE, you can see that you have full access to the bed. Of course, you can get to the dinette since it is in the slide out. You have full access to your kitchen, even your overhead cabinets. You can get to the refrigerator. So as you can see, it can fully open up there. Same thing with the freezer. You can get to the bunks. So if you need to put the kids down as well, you know, for an overnight stop, you can. Uh, now you do kind of lose access to the ladder, but that's okay. Um, you know, if it's for a travel stop, I'm sure you can make it work. And you can have access to the bathroom. So this is one of the very few trailers that is completely travel accessible. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this Surveyor Model 19 BHLE. First thing you'll notice is if you've got the automotive grade tempered glass windshield up front, you're gonna have a power tongue jack up front, that's standard. You've got the safety chain hook, seven way Bargman plug holder right here, single 20 pound propane tank, and then rails for your batteries right there, uh, as well as a handy battery disconnect to be able to kill all 12 volt power to the unit. Now coming around to this side, you are gonna have four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are manual. Nice big pass-through storage. You're gonna have a slam latch here, magnetic holdbacks. And if we drop down here, you can see that you have fully aluminum framed construction. This is a cage construction. So you're gonna have, you know, not just the perimeter, you're gonna have aluminum wall studs as well. Motion sensor light, and then you've got a handy little jack uh, or drill adapter for your jacks as well. And then these two boxes are the prep or the uh, mount and the griddle for the outside uh, removable kitchen. It'll also come with a prep table, which is pretty dang slick. Now right here, you're gonna have two outside speakers, nice big power awning with LED lights in it. And then you've got a po amber porch light up there as well. Friction hinge door, large entry assist handle, and then you're gonna have a triple step, more ride step above steps there. Those will fold up inside the door and have the adjustable feet. Aluminum wheels. Uh, this is a single axle trailer again. You can have cable and power for outside here. And then this will be a spray port for your outside kitchen. Black tank flush to rinse out your black tank. And then if we drop down underneath here, Again, you can see that this is a fully enclosed and forced air heated underbelly propane quick connector right there too, by the way. Now on this rail is where that griddle and prep table will mount. So it's fully removable as you can see there. You've got your rear stabilizer jacks, all LED tail and marker lights, spare tire, spare tire carrier, bumper for your sewer hose, a roof mounted ladder, which is really hard to find these days backup camera prep and keep in mind you're gonna have a 80 watt go power solar panel up on the roof as well back here is another uh, storage compartment so nice storage space there for some of your connections and things here's gonna be your cable uh, and satellite hookups as well as your 30 amp detachable power cord and then down here is gonna be your gray and black tank dumps. So not on the slide out, really easy to get to. And I like how, the, how well they tuck those up. Here you're gonna have a slide out that it, uh, slide out, slide out that's on a Schwintech mechanism. So it's like cog gear driven drive on each corner. You are prepped for Solera slide awning toppers as well. As we come up to the front, you're gonna have uh, your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, city water connection, and your fresh water tank fill, as well as the other side of your pass through storage. Last couple of things, the Surveyor product uses six side, or not six side, um, five side Asdell. So you're gonna have front, I 
side. Is it five side? No, I guess it is six side. Um, anyways, but it uses the Asdale composite panels. So you're gonna have that in the front wall, the rear wall, the two side walls, and all the way throughout your slide out box, which is really nice. I really do like that. Nobody else is using as much Asdale as the Surveyor product is um, in this category. What that's gonna do for you is it protects against delamination. It's rot mold and mildew proof, which uh, basically is means you can't have any water damage in your sidewalls it also gives you double the insulation value and acts as a noise dampener plus it's a fully green based material which is really nice so with that being said guys that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 surveyor legend model 19 bhle if you're interested in this bunkhouse travel trailer and you have any questions you can leave those down in the comment section below you can email us at contact at custom-rv.com or you can give me a call at 806-335-2336. I'll also post my personal cell phone number and the dealership's contact information at the beginning of this video and down in the description below. If you could do me a favor, guys, hit that like button down below and hit that subscribe and notification bell if you're new to the channel and you enjoy these videos and you wanna keep up to date with all of our new inventory that we have coming out for you. We're nine subscribers away from hitting 1,000. I would really like to do that in the next week or two. Um, that would that really opens up a lot of doors for us. But uh, with that being said, remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We hope that you enjoyed this video. We appreciate you taking the time to watch. Man, I tell you, this is going to be a beautiful spring here in Texas and in the Texas Panhandle. So let's get out there and go do some camping. We'll talk to you again very soon.